If you know me, you know I have a lot of GNG in my private collection. And if you really know me, that's because you know I love me some GNG. And if you're looking to expand your private collection or get your first airsoft gun, what is some of the best that GNG has to offer? First up on the list is going to be the ARP9. Psych! That's the wrong number. It's actually the MXC9, the newer, cooler, Gucci version of the ARP9, okay? It's still Palmer, but it's really Gucci, okay? First off, you're getting the G2 gearbox internally, which means you're getting trigger response, rate of fire, and durability all in one, okay? I did say it's Palmer, which means it's lightweight, compact, very nice because it is a pistol caliber carbine, but you do get that metal M-lock handguard for whatever accessories that you want and a monolithic upper rail for any optics you want, okay? Now, GG has put a lot of time and effort into designing their stock because it fits the battery in the stock without exposing the wire when you fold the stock. A very nice touch. Super loud, super aggressive, great performance, and yeah, that's it. Hold on, I'm not done, okay? I gotta make mention of the flared magwell. A problem that pistol caliber carbines and SMGs have is reloading because it's such a small box window for you to insert the magazine, but not with the MXC9. Oh no, it's such a lightning fast reload. It's so easy to do. And you can reload because it comes with two magazines. It comes with the standard 130 round magazine and the Extendo, the 170 round magazine. Who doesn't wanna run the Extendo? Okay, that, that's all I have to say. Next up on the list is going to be the CMF-16. What, you didn't think we'd go on this list without including an M4, right? Well, I mean, it's not really an M4, it's a not 416, but it's still M4, okay? You get a nice, clean, Gucci M-lock rail that's just so tasty, okay? And then you're getting like a Gucci, uh, it's, I mean, it's still an M4, but I mean, it's like Gucci, like you have the nice GNG Palmer receiver, okay? Even though it's Palmer, it's still Gucci. And internally, it's literally the same gearbox in the MXC9, okay? The G2 gearbox, they just stuffed it into the, the CMF-16, okay? I'm talking great trigger response, the quick chain spring system. I mean, listen, listen to this performance and tell me that that isn't Gucci. Next up on the list, we're breaking the standard because we're going gas blowback with the SMC9, okay? Let me tell you something. The SMC9 broke the standard of pistol caliber carbines for me, okay? The TM standard? No, G and G standard. I don't know what G and G is doing with their gas blowback system, but it's working, okay? I don't know how I can mag dump so many times and the gun still fires. And a lot of problems that gas blowback guns have out of the box from other companies is that it's a little bit sluggish. Oh no, not the SMC9. I'm talking double deep fried crispy, okay? If you ever had anything double deep fried, you know. Hold on, I gotta talk about the performance, okay? When you look at the SMC9, it's basically just a carbine kit for a G&G pistol. But if you get the carbine kit, it has an increased inner barrel, which will increase your range and increase your velocity. Oh, you don't want increased velocity? Well, G&G makes low power nozzles to install into the SMC9 so you can take it indoors. Aftermarket support G&G, wow, thank you, but out of the box performance. You're getting an AG range and accuracy performance out of what's essentially a longer gas blowback pistol. Token Marui, where are you at? You need to make something like this or g is gonna come in, change the standard for airsoft, uh, maybe in about 20 years. But still, this is the most innovative airsoft gun that I've seen in airsoft in a while. Next up on the list is probably the most Gucci airsoft gun and the least attainable because of supply and extreme demand. It's the officially licensed Knight's Arm SR25, okay? Now, let me tell you something. G&G is making VFC sweat with this external build because of how clean it is. I'm talking a full metal receiver with that nice Knight's Armament trademarks but you get the nice M-lock rail as well. And of course the AR style controls, which is very familiar to anyone that's used an M4 before. Internally, you're getting the G2H gearbox, which is the same as the G2 gearbox, but made for the 308 platform, okay? And performance, not only do you get the trigger response and rate of fire, but it being a DMR, you want that trigger response and the range. I don't know how you can get that good of a range out of the box, GNG, that needs to be a standard for all your airsoft guns, okay? Let me circle back around to the full metal receiver, okay? Because GNG doesn't normally make full metal airsoft guns, but when they do, 
GG, why don't you make more full metal airsoft guns? And lastly on the list, the comments are begging for this gun to be on here. It is the tried and true g g Combat Machine line, okay? Now this airsoft gun is a staple in the airsoft world. You're guaranteed to see at least one at your local field, okay? I'm talking standard version two gearbox. No fancy bells and whistles, which means less for things to go wrong and things to break, okay? And if you know about the combat machine line, you know how reliable they are. You can look at the comments below and see all the fuds and boomers and say, oh, I've had my g g combat machine for 50 plus years and it's never broken on me once. That reputation speaks for itself. And lastly, you get the g g legendary polymer, the gun that started the polymer in the first place. The combat machine has earned its right on this list. In today's modern airsoft world, how does the combat machine compete? I mean, it's okay. To be honest, there are other airsoft guns out there that offer more that are competitively priced. But the combat machine is a staple in the airsoft world because of how easy it is to work on and upgrade. It is a beginner's airsoft delight a rental player's airsoft delight, even airsoft gun builder's delight. Simple and clean delight. All right, guys, that's it for my top five G&G &G airsoft guns. If you don't agree with me, too bad. It's my list and I'm right. But if you wanna put your top five favorite airsoft guns from G&G &G in the comments below, go ahead and do that and let me know why they're all combat machines, okay? And if you wanna support us directly, make sure you go over to airsoftg.com and pick up all your airsoft goodies over there and use the Wombo Combo for the best savings in airsoft. Getting all your goodies over there will support us directly and make sure you subscribe for more content. We just hit 700,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, but we're trying to go for that one milli, okay? And your subscription will help us a lot. Other than that, my name is Cisco and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.